it is finally spring here on the homestead. And what does that mean? That means it's time for Lucy to go back out on pasture. The ducks are way, way, way out there. And all the animals are very happy today. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to talk about rotational grazing, move Lucy to the next spot in the pasture, and get set up for some new baby chicks, and get her some water. So let's start by getting Lucy moved and get her some water. So Lucy is here today. You may notice this is a bigger spot that I normally give to them uh, in the summertime. That's because this grass is just starting to come up. And instead of maybe partitioning it off smaller and her eating it like normal, I wanted to give her a lot to start out with. She went over this real nice. Kind of looked like this this morning. You probably can't see too much of a difference, but there's definitely a difference. It gives her time to leave some poop behind and get that first little bit of grass off the top. It'll help it come up better. So she's been on this since about 9 9 a.m. this morning. So she's been on this for about seven hours now. Now seeing as that is the case, I thought about maybe making this a bigger spot and then just leaving her on this overnight, but here's my plan. So we're gonna make another one. It'll probably be from where that ends to about right here before this tree. And I'll leave her on here till about 7.30 tonight. Then she can go back over to her area where she has her big trough and her hay bale. That way she doesn't ruin this grass overnight because the worst thing that could happen is this grass gets ruined. We just want her to lightly graze everything. So then in the morning, she'll finish off this after we milk her and then she'll go on the next so essentially i'm moving her two times a day right now and then once she finishes with this pasture in a couple days maybe she'll come back over to the spot or maybe we'll just give it a couple days and then start on uh grazing maybe in about a week or two the first thing we're gonna do is get this hose and we'll take it over there for lucy we're just gonna get her a bowl and put some water in it and that should be enough for her I don't really want to move the big trough three or four times a day we'll find where this hose breaks up Quick I don't I don't even know if I'm in the shop. Quick releases for hoses. Oh come on. It's not gonna windy to hold it. Quick releases for hoses are some of the best things we ever bought. These hoses are great because that one will sit there and it goes to that trough. And all we have to do is take this down there and then say Lucy's trough needs filled up tomorrow. We just drag this hose over here and connect it to that hose. That makes it very, very easy if it's maybe early in the morning or late in the evening. Uh, I can just go hook that up and it can fill it up and there's no problems. As long as I remember to turn the hose off, we're gonna go find her a bowl now. I'm thinking either a larger bowl like the one Molly has or maybe even a five gallon bucket will work because like I said, she only needs it for about six or seven hours every day. Check that out, there's a bunch of eggs in here. So this is the state of our building right now. We have all these straw bales in here and then this area is just a mess. Work on. go oh no there we go it has been over a month since i have uploaded a new video why have i why have i not uploaded in over a month let's just say i've been very 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 busy with a off farm matter but in all seriousness, I have actually been super busy. Here in, Ohio, here in Ohio, it has been nonstop rain and very cold. So as for this little bowl, I have, I'm going to be running to Tractor Supply tomorrow to hopefully be getting some baby chicks and we will get her a bigger bowl. All our bigger bowls are being used, but seeing as she only has to use it for a couple hours, I'll just keep filling it up and leave the hose on. But let's give her water real quick. And then we'll take this fence here down and move it farther down. Lucy. I don't know, she might want to go down to her big trough. I don't know what her problem is. It might be the hose. There you go. So we're just going to use a single line. It's going to work the best. Let's finish all this water. Lucy. Lucy, come on. Yeah, she has it figured out now. That's the step and post setup, and now we need to go reel this back up. I love how much I. Little, little Ricky's water is low and we're gonna fill it up next. 
but uh, so he's not the happiest at the moment. I love how much I talked about being more consistent on YouTube and then just haven't posted in a month. But I've been really busy and the rain has been horrendous here and the temperatures have been all over the place. So maybe I would have a nice day where I was like, oh, I was gonna, I'm gonna record today and then something would end up happening, something would get in the way. So I'm finally going to be consistent again now that the weather is being more consistent. Over, over the last month or so, um, no, right in the mud. Oh, crap. That's not good. You guys can't see anything. Okay, hold on. So it's actually not good right now for this camera to be super wet. And reason being because I actually have a external microphone. It's called the Media Mod, GoPro's Media Mod. And with that, there's nothing covering up the inside of the camera with the battery in it. So thankfully it did not it was not that spot that fell in the mud. It might be waterproof because there's kind of like a small case around it, but I'm not chance. I actually have to rethink my whole strategy seeing as my camera does overheat a lot in the summer. Thanks, GoPro. Hold on, Lucy. Hold on, Lucy. Don't. No, 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 no. We're not, we're not going that far, actually. This is your border for today. No, Lucy. No. Uh -uh. Stay on that side, please. Grab me the hose, please. To be honest with you, this line is not enforced very much. It's just a line to keep her out of here and she'll respect it. Looks like she's about to take a sip of Lucy's little water bowl. So since it's April now and these temperatures are staying fairly consistent uh, to warmer weather, it's time to get some new baby chicks. So with that, the last thing we're gonna do today is just go check the barn and make sure everything is ready and set up. Not exactly sure just how many I'm gonna get, probably 20 or 30 is my plan, and I'm hoping you'll get them tomorrow. Five farm fresh, uh, seems to be some kind of, so they are green eggs, which we don't even have very many green layers, so this is really neat to find. We'll just put them in this bowl. For once, this light is actually helping me. So you can see this is some pretty deep straw. Normally I would want to get this out of here and make it lower for the baby chicks. But the big thing is, is this straw is all fresh. So this seems like it's gonna work out good. I wanted to come in here and make sure that none of this straw did need pulled out, but it seems like it's pretty good. They will only have access to half of this brooder. And because of that, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pull some of this out, kind of like that, pull it back a little bit, and we'll just kind of make sure there's no super big lips. And that will do well. So we'll probably take a, uh, so we'll probably take a piece of wood and just put it from there, and they'll have all this little bit of space. And once they get bigger, we'll be able to pull the old straw, put some of this new in there, and spread it all out and make it all flat. You can see, you can see Mr. Jethro here. He's in here enjoying the nice warm day. So you won't be seeing the new baby chicks in today's video, but it will be in next week's video. So tomorrow I'm hoping to go get some baby chicks and we also have to get a larger bowl for Lucy. You can see down there, she's enjoying that grass. So I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in about a month. Um, it was kind of a nice break though and I really enjoyed it. And I got a lot of other stuff done that's not just to do with farm work. I also got some off farm matters dealt with. Um, I'm in the process of selling my red four wheeler and still working on the other one that I talked about. I've been doing some recording of some of my riding. I don't know if I'll post it, but it was just cool to get to document some of it. If you guys would like to see some of it, maybe I'll put it in one of my videos. Let me know if you guys want to see that. But thanks for tuning in to today's video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. And YouTube wants you to go check out this video, so go check it out. And if you also want to go subscribe to the channel, click here. See you guys.